Hey guys, today's video is a back to school try on clothing haul. Um, this is like one of my favorite times of the year because I absolutely love shopping for back to school and everything. And this is like the last year that I actually get to do this because this is my senior year in college and like a lot of college kids don't even do this but um, I'm really really excited. I love like fall fashion and so like being able to start getting some fall pieces is really really exciting for me. Um, but this is a really long video. I went to yeah, a lot of clothes so I'm gonna just get right on into the video. The first store I'm going to do is Old Navy. Um, I only got like three things from Old Navy. The first thing that I got is just a little t-shirt and it's just mustard yellow with um, a couple of like white lines going through it um, horizontally and it has like a nice little white collar detail. So I went for this to just have like a nice little t-shirt because I love like layering and so I can put this under a nice jacket. The next item I got was another t-shirt and it's this like gray t-shirt that says hello lovely on the um, corner of the shirt um, in the upper corner um, and I just love this because it has like a really nice soft fabric to it and it's very slouchy and like loose. I love like t-shirts like this and you can just like throw on some leggings or throw on some jeans and nice easy comfy outfit. And the last thing that I got from Old Navy is this really, really super cute dress. I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. Um, and it's just black with some blue and pink and a little bit of yellow flowers on it. And I just thought it was so cute. And I love how it has kind of like a little sweetheart neckline. I love a good sweetheart neckline. And I don't normally like buy that many dresses because I don't wear them that often um, but I just could not resist this and I think this is so cute. The next store I'm going to show you what I got from is H&M which again I didn't get too much from H&M just like four little things. The first thing I got from H&M was this sweatshirt. Um, I absolutely love burgundy is like another one of my go-to fall colors like a good chunk of my closet is burgundy because I just love that color so much and this is, this is just like a Harvard University sweatshirt. Um, I just I think it's really just the color that really makes me want this because I saw a Harvard t-shirt and I wanted it so badly but I didn't get it. But I was like, okay, it's a sweatshirt and it's like one of my favorite colors to wear, so I have to get it. And it's just really, really nice. I bought it in a size big, so it was a little bit more slouchy on me. Um, and I just really love this. The next thing that I got from H&M is this sweatshirt. Um, and it says Brooklyn. Um, in 1975 in the front and then on the sleeves it says Bronx it has like little white stripes right after it and it's just like a nice black sweatshirt with white writing and you know it's I'm pretty sure it's actually supposed to be cropped but that's another reason why I got it in a size up so it wouldn't be as cropped or the crop style wouldn't be as noticeable um but I just like I really like sweatshirts especially like on you know your cooler fall days and I thought this was just really cute the next item I have are these pants I normally like I love the idea of these pants but I never like know like where to wear them with so I've always avoided buying them even though I just absolutely think that they're so nice and comfortable but I just went ahead and like I'm gonna buy it even if I only 
like everywhere with like a white t-shirt. I'm going to get this because these are really cute and they look, they're just they're nice and soft and they're actually really comfortable on too. And you know, like on days that you really don't want to like be putting on like a pair of jeans, but then you also don't want to wear like the leggings. Like these are just like really nice and it's just like nice and black. It's black with like little white like pattern detail. So, and it has pockets. Pockets to me are always a plus. I love something that has pockets. So, we got these. And the last thing that I got from H&M is this shirt. Um, and it's just a white and black striped shirt. Um, but that, what makes it a little bit different from the other ones that I have is the yellow on the end of the sleeves and around the collar. Um, I just thought that was really cute. And like I said, like the mustard color was like really popping out to me when I was going shopping. So like I saw that and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I kind of have to have this. So that's that. So I have another um, black and white striped shirt added to my wide variety of collection there. The next store that I went to was Hollister. And the one thing that I got from Hollister were these high-waisted jeans um, and these um, like army green color. I really wanted a pair of these. So I used, um, <clears throat> I just really wanted a pair of these in this color. Um, and they're actually really, really comfortable. And to me, it's always a plus when I can find a store that can actually have jeans that fit my legs because my legs are a bit long. And so I prefer to have like a bit of a longer inseam than most stores um, have and I just got these in a long and they fit really really nicely. And the next store that I got clothes from was actually Shein which is an online store and I just got a few pieces um, from there just to try them out. Um, and I only got tops because I was too afraid to like go and get like jeans or something from there because I just wasn't sure and like the sizing was like confusing to me a little bit so I just played it safe. Um, the first thing that I got was this um, red shirt um, with like white lines going through it. Um, and I just got this. This is more to me, like more of a shirt that I'd wear to work. Um, and I thought this was kind of cute. Um, I'm not crazy about like the little like ruffle detail on the sleeves, but it's actually like when I'm wearing it, it's not actually that bad. Um, and it's actually like nice. It's like the material isn't great, but like my main reasoning wearing it is to work. And I actually already wore this to work and a lot of people thought it was really cute so you know that's always a plus. Next I got this red shirt. I saw this and I was like oh my gosh this is so freaking cute um, and it's just a little top in it but it has like a tie in the front and I just thought that was really really cute like I'm gonna struggle like it literally took me like 20 minutes to get this tied but I'm gonna have to untie it to try it on um so I'm definitely gonna have to become an expert on how to tie a nice like little bow on it but I thought this was so cute and this is actually a pretty decent, nicer fabric. It's not the nicest, but it doesn't feel as, like, bad as the other shirt. So this one I would definitely probably be 
become one of my favorite shirts to wear to work. Another shirt that I got to wear to work is this one. Um, and I absolutely love shirts with a nice little Peter Pan collar. I've wanted a shirt with a Peter Pan collar for years and never got one, but now I have one. And it's just like a nice plain black shirt, but it has like little um, scalloped detailing at the end of the shirt, which I think is really cute and really nice. And it's definitely like something that I've wanted. This is like the replica of a shirt that I've been wanting for years. So really excited to have that, can't wait to wear it. Maybe I'll even wear this tomorrow to work. And the next thing that I got from Shein is this t-shirt. Um, and it just has, it's another black and white striped shirt. Surprise, surprise. But this has a little pink, um, pale pink detailing around the collar and on the um, end of the sleeves. And it also has like a little pale pink pocket on the front. So it's a little different. One thing I did notice about their, at least this shirt, um, is that it's more of like a boxy shape, which I'm not crazy about because it's like shorter and then boxy. Um, but I mean, it's not a bad fabric. It's actually pretty soft and kind of nice. And I just would like it to be a little bit more rectangular and a little longer and I think it would be even better. And the last thing that I got from Shein is another t-shirt. And again, it's striped, but this time it's navy blue and white stripes. And it's only the bottom half of the shirt and then top half. And then the top half is an all like pale pink color and then it has a yellow pocket on it. I'm a little mustard yellow. And I just thought this was really cute. Um, and this one again is like pretty square but it is longer. And this honestly it just feels like a regular old t-shirt like that you'd get anywhere. So like I don't know that's like a plus. Next store that I got a lot of clothes from was JCPenney. I like JCPenney, like, I cannot resist their clothes. Like, I love their tops, and they always have like really nice, like, jackets and stuff too. So, this portion is going to be a little bit longer. Without a further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing that I got from JCPenney was this long kimono um it's basically kind of like a duster kimono but it has like short sleeves and it's like navy blue with like pink floor flowers on it and it also has like um in the top portion it also has buttons um that you can button the shirt with and everything and it also has like a little tie to it with a tassel at the end um, I definitely wouldn't probably ever wear it buttoned or tied. Um, I'm probably just going to wear it like open. But I just love how long it is. I also want like a sweater that's like a duster sweater that's really super long. But I thought that this was actually cute too. So that's that. got from JC Penny was this white jacket. Um, I've been eyeing this jacket for quite some time, basically since like the last year, and they brought it back. I'm so glad because I was able to get it this time around. Because um, last year I got the army green kind of version of this jacket, which I wear like way too much. Um, and um, I just really like this and 
even though that like when I'm thinking about it, there's probably not a lot of options I'll have when it comes to wearing like a white jacket, but I just think it's so freaking cute. So I know how to get it and I'll figure out an outfit to wear with it. The next item I got was this oversized jean jacket. I've been wanting one of these for a while now. Um, I've gotten a jean jacket before, but it was like tighter and like it was a darker denim. I just did not like it uh, with anything. And but then I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I need. Like a light wash denim jacket that's like oversized and slouchy that you can just wear with like a t-shirt and like jeans or, you know, leggings or something like that. Like you can almost basically pair this with anything, which is really nice. Unlike the other one that I have, which is very like hard to pair and match with. So I'm really, really excited about that. item I have is just this plain white tee. Um, I have like so many t-shirts and just like solid colors. I have like black, I have burgundy, I have like pink and like so many other colors but I did not have a nice white t-shirt so I got this and I just really love it because like I prefer a u-neck. I do not really like v-necks and this u-neck is not actually like super deep or anything. It's just like just right. It fits me like really really nicely. So I got that and plus it's slouchy. I love slouchy tees so that's really nice. And the next thing that I got from JCPenney was this cream colored top um, and it has like flowers on it and it has like peachy colored flowers and then a couple like these purple ones and then like the leaves are kind of like a blue color um to the flowers and I just really love this top and I love how it like ties in the front bit and it's a kind of supposed to be like a crop top or like a shorter length top and I really like that and I just thought it was really like nice and flowy for like that transition between, you know, summer and fall or back to school. And the next item I got was this color block, like, t-shirt. And this t-shirt is just like the other t-shirts that I complained about. It's like more square. But I just really liked like the colors, the pink at the top and then the gray at the bottom and then like the white separating the two colors. I really liked that and I just, I don't know, maybe like my colors this year I guess are mustard yellow and like pale pink colors because that's clearly what I got a lot of and gray, lots of gray, um, which I already have plenty of gray but you know, can never have too much gray. Um, but I just really like this and it's like a nice like simple tee to wear. And the next item I got was this Beatles Abbey Road band tee. I actually got this from the men's department because one of the main things that I wanted to get were like band t-shirts and stuff especially. Um, and I did not see like any of those really that on any, any of the stores that I went to and so I decided I will venture off into the men's department to see if I can find the, some finally and I found this and I just think it's really nice and I got it in um, a size bigger so it would be like a little bit more slouchy and stuff on me and I just thought that was really nice. I even tried looking for some band tees in a thrift shop, in a thrift store, and it didn't work. So, at least I got one. <laughs> We're just gonna try to add to the collection. And the next item I got was this Levi's 
um, sweatshirt. I just think this is the cutest sweatshirt. I'm probably going to get this completely destroyed with either makeup or food or something. I'm going to try to be very, very, very careful with this. Um, but I just thought this was so cute. Um, when I saw it on the mannequin, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. So I got this and, you know, it's definitely going to be something that I wear all the time because I think it's so cute. The next item I got was this Nike sweatshirt. And this is like a super oversized sweatshirt. This is almost probably like, on some people, it might actually be a sweatshirt dress, basically. Um, and this is a small. I was going to try an extra small, but I was like, oh, the small, it should be fine. I probably should have gotten the extra small. That's how like oversized this sweatshirt is. But it's really, really nice. Um, and it's soft. And it's like not like a super thick sweatshirt where you're gonna be like sweating. Um, and I'm like only gonna be outside for like a couple of minutes. So I'm not like super worried about like super thick things really, especially like it's still summertime anyways. So, but I really like this and it has like two huge pockets on each side, which is really nice. and. Definitely convenient. And the next item I got were these mom jeans. Um, I never was too big on the mom jean like trend. I thought it looked okay on other people. But, and I was like, it's definitely not going to look good on me, but it actually does not look that bad on myself. And I feel like that happens to me all the time. Like, something becomes super, super popular, and I just resist, and I resist, and resist. And then finally, I try it, and it's actually, like, the best thing ever. So, who knows? Mom jeans might be my new favorite, favorite pair our favorite style of jean now. <laughs> and I just like these because they were nice and plain and simple and they were like in a nice light wash jean. The next thing that I got was this button up. And it's just a nice simple button up but and it has like white and blue vertical, vertical vertical stripes on it and a nice little front pocket um and i don't have a lot of button ups and i figured this is nice because i can like dress it up and i can dress it down <laughs> Thing that I got was this green top and it's actually um, kind of like a crop top kind of situation but like a longer crop top um, and it says K by which I'm not big on like little catchphrases and or like phrases like on shirts but I just really like the color of the shirt and I thought like little K by was okay it's not like cringy or anything so but I just really like this and it's away from my classic like army green it's more like an emerald emerald green color so decided to get this the next top that I got was this like baseball tee kind of t-shirt um, and it's like in this orangey reddish tone color and I just like honestly I just really really liked this color and it's like a, it's more of a burnt orange that's the color that is yes that's what it is and I love these kinds of t-shirts but my problem is always the sleeves are so tight but this one is actually bigger and it's nicer and it's not uncomfortable so I was like yes great fantastic mm -hmm. Um, 
my next item is this plaid flannel top, which I got one last year, but it was so thin and like the material was not great. So like I had to wear tank tops underneath of it because it was like basically completely see-through and then it also ended up getting a hole in it. But this one, it feels like a nut, like it's like a nice thicker um, material and just like better quality all around. And it's actually like a nicer color to me at least. I like that it's like just black and red. Um, so I really like this and hopefully this one doesn't rip and I definitely don't have to wear anything under it so that's always nice. And I actually like this too because I could actually, if I wanted to, I could wear like a t-shirt, like I could wear like an actual t-shirt, like graphic tee under it and have it open and that's actually a really cute outfit. And my next top is this black um, crop top um situation it's just black with like white flowers on it and it has like long sleeves with like ruffles at the end and it like cinches at the waist um and i just really thought this was super cute um and so i got that <laughs> My next thing that I got was this romper. Um, it's a blue romper with a bunch of like flowers on it. It has like a bunch of details at the bottom of the romper and like it has like a white section with a bunch of flowers and stuff on it. And this is like, it's kind of like almost like a grandma kind of like curtain-esque pattern, I guess. But I just thought this was super cute. Like, I don't know what it is about it, but it just, like, really catches my eye. So I decided to get this. The next thing that I got was this romper, which is, like, this, like, bluish gray color with like orange and red flowers actually a long sleeve romper and I this just like screamed fall to me even though like I can't really wear this like by itself in fall but I was thinking like with like either wearing it with like boots or like a slightly warmer fall day or like pairing it with like leggings or like tights tights not leggings Pairing it with tights, they might actually look really cute in the fall, but I just thought this was really cute and I just really, really liked it. And again, like I normally don't go for like these colors and these patterns, but I just really like this. The next thing that I got from the store were shoes and I got these like kind of like Chelsea boot kind of shoes um and they're just like really they're not that they're like more like cheap kind of shoes that probably won't last me too long but like I just thought these were cute and they were really inexpensive so I went with it and I don't because I don't think that I'm going to be wearing these like too much and like I basically am only going to be at school like two days a week and I think these actually won't be too too bad as far as the wear and tear with like the lower quality of them. So I went and got these before I like really invest in a nice good like Chelsea boot to see if I actually wear them enough to get like a good quality one. And the other thing that I got were these Adidas shoes. Um, and I just got these. And these are like the Cloud Foam. I think they're the CT Racer um, Adidas um, shoes. And I got these instead of getting like the white 
Um, stripes, I decided to get the, like, rose gold kind of stripes. And I just really like these. And they're really comfortable and really nice. And I like how, like, it's not, like, a super hard structure. It's, like, more of, like, a meshy structure at the top. Um, but, like, my ultimate dream is getting the Adidas Superstars. Like, that's what I really want. That might be my Christmas gift to myself. Also went to Famous Footwear and did get uh, these Sperry's. Um, and I think these are the Peer View um, Sperry's. And I've been eyeing these for a while. Um, and they're just like this gray color with um, the little like tan rope-esque kind of laces. Um, I just thought these were really, really cute um, and a really nice addition to my shoe collection. And another pair of shoes that I got from Famous Footwear were these shoes. Um, they're just like little boots um, that are brown and then they have like a little plaid detailing in here. These boots were very difficult to get in because um, I got these boots and they were, okay, and these aren't actually like the boots that I really actually wanted. Um, it's a really long story. Basically what happened was I ordered these boots along with the Sperry's originally and I wanted um, basically the same boot in a slightly lighter color, like a tan basically, and then the plaid was like a little bit different on that part. And I ordered them in a size 9 because that's normally the size that I wear in basically everything and my other boots and everything. And they were like, these are just like really like snug and tight. And so I was like, oh, I'd prefer to get them in a larger size. And so I went to the store, returned it, told the end, like, well, basically exchanged it, and they ordered me a new one because those shoes were actually clearance shoes, so they were only online. And, you know, I thought I was finished with that and everything. And then they came in, they came, and I got a delivery, like, two, three days later. And they were the size 10 that I wanted, since I wanted to get, like, a whole size up because they were so snug. And it ended up that they got the size right, but they gave me like the light, light, tan, like beige color, and that's not what I wanted at all. And so, but like by that point, school had already started, so I was busy with school and then like work and everything, and so we really didn't have that much time. So I think like a week or a week and a half went by before I was finally able to go back. And at that point, um, when I looked online, because that was like one of my biggest concerns is because they were clearance, they would probably sell like pretty quickly, especially with back to school time coming back. And they only had a nine and a half left. So I went ahead and just ordered it that night um, in the nine and a half that I wanted. The next day, um, I just returned the tan color. And one, um, and a few days later, almost a week later actually, which concerned me because I also like at that point I also decided to get another pair of boots too um, and the other pair of boots they came but these did not and so I was like oh my gosh I bet you that now they are completely out of stock of them and so I'm not gonna get them and finally they came last Saturday um, on a Saturday and they gave me these which are not the ones that I ordered. They are not the like tan ones that I wanted. But at that point, I'm like, I've returned and exchanged this already twice. And obviously those shoes just are not available um, apparently. And these, I actually kind of lucked out because these are like the newer ones. So these actually aren't supposed to be on clearance. Cause these were actually, I think like $60. And I got them for like, I think like 15 or something um so I mean I lucked out with getting these and like they're brown they're a darker color than what I wanted 
but you know they're still cute and they'll still work with how I what the outfits that I want to wear with this. But that's my little long story about dealing with these boots. <laughs> These were the other shoes that I got um, when I had decided to get another pair of shoes along with my whole debacle with the brown boots. And I already have like black combat boot kind of shoes, but they're kind of run down and like getting dingy and everything because I've had them for like three years now. Um, and I literally just like picked them up from Payless so they weren't like the best quality. So I decided to get these, and honestly, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of, I don't normally go for heeled boots, but I was kind of inspired by, um, Laura Jean from All the Boys, to All the Boys I Loved Before. I loved the movie, because I also, like, and I also, like, read the books years ago, and I loved every single one of the books. I've read, I probably, in total, will have reread those books, like, at least like five times because I just love those books and I always thought even in the books Laura Jean had a great sense of style and actually being able to see the style I was very inspired and like I've been looking for pieces that she wore in the movie and I found these which were really similar to the ones that she wore on the first day of school so picked these up and I just think they're really cute <laughs> And that was the last of this massive try-on back-to-school clothing haul. Um, I really, really hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did like it, you can comment down below and you can give the video a like. And you can also subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!